it has been one week since they launched a new version of Affinity Software. So, like always, with this kind of big uh, launch, there are tons of questions. So, all groups in Facebook and Reddit are flooded with questions from users, people that purchase the new software, they try to figure it out how to use it and also multiple questions from people that they just try to gather information and make kind of decision that they want to go for it they want to update right now or they want to wait a bit so today i get a 10 frequent asked questions something that i see like daily since like whole week since the launch and we will try to answer those questions today so Here's like 10 questions I have selected from like Facebook groups, affinity related groups on Facebook. But if there's a miss important question, you feel like you need to know something important, just type your question down below in the comment section. I will try to help that also many veterans that follow my channel, they may help you as well. All right, so let's keep this uh, video live let's ask and answer some questions in the comment section below all right let's jump straight to question i have prepared for this video so here's the question number one uh, does anybody know when the 40 percent discount for version 2 will end so that was kind of unknown we speculate it will be around one week because they kind of branded as launch discount so that's usually one week but no i think it confirmed just today that they're going to extend this launch discount un until 14 of december so 14 of december means you can actually get the 30 days trial first you can check it out and then make your purchase decision later on in December. So that's great. So the answer is until 14th of December. All right, let's check the second question. Should I buy now or wait for Black Friday for even better offer? And that's kind of linked to question number one. As today, they confirm they're extending this 40% off until 14th of December. So that's the discount we're getting this year. Don't need to wait. There will be nothing else probably until a spring sale in 2023. All right. What next question number three? Will version two open my version one files? That's a really common question nowadays. So yes, your version two, I think designer two, I think the two, publisher two, they will open your version one files with no problem. The problem will start if you open your version 1 files in Affinity 2 and then you save it as Affinity 2 files and try to open again in Affinity 1. Then you will have problem. So you can open all version 1 files in version 2, but after you save them as version 2, you cannot open them again in version 1. So I saw people overcoming this by saving some files as PSD, believe it or not, PSD, <laughs> competitor format, and then they can open that in version 1 again because it's compatible with PSD. So officially, yes, you can open all of your version 1 files in version 2, but you cannot open version 2 files in version 1. All right, question number four. Are we allowed to install on PC and laptop? as long as we only use one at a time so yes and actually they are not tracking our use life i got some software the one for screen recording i'm using right now they tracking me when i'm using the software so i if i want to record on different computer they will force me to log out on the previous one in case of affinity they will not track you like this so you can use your software you can even use it in the same time and you don't need to worry about switching between platforms and apps especially with this brand new universal license so people purchase the software for uh, for windows mac and ipad and you don't need to be too worried about using this in the same time or multiple devices as long as you don't like let's say illegally share that across all of your colleagues in your office so it will be good if it's just you using your program. All right. Question number five. So that's very linked to this question number four. I kind of answered this already. So if you purchase the universal license, do I get up on all three platforms at the same time? Yes, you can use it at the same time. So you don't need to worry about using only one at a time and logging out and logging in. No, nothing like that. All right, question number six. 
Will version 2 override version 1? No. So many people were afraid of that. There's so many questions like exactly like this in, in recent days. So version 2 is a new program. You may remember in the 90s when we got like new version of Photoshop before they switched to subscription. If they like new version of Photoshop coming out, like you got CS2, they released CS3, you install CS3 and you still got CS2 on your computer. And some folks like to keep like older version because it works better when like some of the colleagues still run older version or one the one of these big printers in the office need to use this older version or something like that. So same here, you can keep version one and you will get version two as a separate file. So if you got some big project that you started in version one, you don't want to risk, you can keep using that. You can keep using version one as long as they will support it. And uh, some people uh, mentioned that it's it will be like obsolete already and it's like the support is dead. That's not true. What Affinity said about version 1 is that they will not develop any new tools and features for version 1 and they already confirmed they will drop uh, updates based on like system requirements and security updates and stuff like that. So they will keep version 1 running. So at least probably one or two years they will do that for version 1. So it's not like it's abandoned right now. It's still up and running, you can still use version 1 as normal. All right, so that's very, very common question. So many people are afraid that version 2 will overwrite the version 1. That's not the case for both iPad and Mac and Windows. It's totally separate app, and you can have two, like I've got right now. All right, question number seven. If I buy a new computer, will I be able to transfer my license for Affinity 2? Yes, that's your license is linked to your email right now. So if you, let's say, stop using your computer and got a new one, you just log in out there and you can keep using it. As I mentioned, they are not tracking us in such detail. And I think if you don't share it with like multiple users, that multiple IPs logging in, in the same time, you will be fine. You are no need to worry about transferring license and stuff like that. All right, what's next? <laughs> that was actually very common. Is there still no trace function in Designer 2? Yes, that's correct. No auto trace for Designer 2, but there are many other solutions. You can use Inkscape, you can use Vectonator, you can use uh, like web 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 based solutions that like magic vector or something like that if i could remember so there are a few ways you can do that but if you ask about version 2 of designer no no auto trace right now and i kind of believe they will they will add it during version 2 we don't need to wait until version 3 but i may be wrong all right question number nine just update to version 2 where do I find a pencil tool? So that's like, sound like a silly question, right? But it's not, they refresh the whole uh, interface. So it's a little bit different and it may give uh, troubles to somebody to search for certain tools. Or... So the biggest change is here in the layer panel. They put some new icons down here. So that's the thing. Now the layers like also indicators showing what is in the layer. And people then mention that it's confusing. For me, it's not. I like it. This, for example, is artboard layer. Then there's a shape layer. Then we got a raster layer, text layer. That's like straightforward for me. So we got changes here, but also in the tool icons. So they replace all, all of the icons with new icons. And that's maybe confusing. Uh, so some tools are hidden below other tools. So that's the answer for this question. If you cannot find a tool or you see different tool in the uh, YouTube tutorial, you need to check out. You need to click and hold. And for example, normally this is a vector brush tool. And this person over here, if you click and hold, you see your pencil tool right now. In the past, pencil tool was bundled with pen tool. And now they move it to back the brush tool here. So that's maybe like confusing and you need to sometimes click and hold to see what tools are hidden below other tools, right? So there are some tools grouped together and they push the hand tool and zoom tool as in the one group now. And that's also confusing for many. 
So we got zoom tool together with hand tool at the bottom here. All right, so they made some changes in UI. We need a moment to get used to. So there are some few questions about those changes in UI. So that's it. You need to check out that some tools hidden, some tools reorder, regrouped. So that's it. That's what happened in this new version. All right, and the last question. Last question asking for a friend. <laughs> Is version 2 worth buying or should I wait for version 3? If you want to skip on version 2 and wait on version 3, you must keep in mind that will like probably 3 years from now on. So they're going to support this version for around 3 years, I'm guessing. It's not like there will be version 3 after version 2, no. There will be free update to version 2.1, 2.2, etc. So they're going to add new features, new tools, patch something, change something. So they just released this version one week ago. They're going to support this for around 3 years before they release the next version all right so is it worth buying you don't need to ask other people you can just simply get 30 days trial check it yourself for 30 days and if you find like your workflow improved because of the new tools all right you can update if you feel like that's not much change just keep using your version one as i mentioned version one will be still supported for they'll be updating that to work with the operating systems and security stuff so that's not abandoned piece of software all right they just state they are not going to release new features and tools for version one but they will support this program so you can still use version one no problem so just get your trial and make decision yourself all right i hope some of those answers were <laughs> somehow helpful and if i miss important question you feel like that's something i should talk about during this lunch period for the software drop the question in the comment section below or maybe drop the answer if you see some important question out there already thank you for watching and i hope i will see you in my next tutorial bye